If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a pretty big evolution, more specifically for one individual card. Don't worry about that one account that I put the unleashing potential on. Um, that's why it's always important to take a look at specific evolutions to give to specific cards because it could turn out being really nice because this improvement from this evolution turns this one player that I'm thinking of into an absolute monster. And you guys know who it's going to be, okay? So if we go to the evolutions, the evolution uh, thing today is something to do with fullbacks, right? So it's called fullback swap and it's 100k or 500 fever points. But guys, like all the way back in the beginning of the year, okay, when it came down to telling you guys like, hey, it might be one that you might want to spend the money on, right? Even your coins to improve certain players because the improvements are very, very drastic. First of all, the first thing that you're going to be able to notice from this evolution is Jockey Plus. Guys, I'll tell you this right now. Jockey Plus in the defense is one of the most important play styles to have because these cards move like trash if you do not have these play styles, right? Jockey Plus is a massive, massive plus on the cards, okay? Then it's also the stat improvements, right? That the card is also given, right? So you can see that the first one's defending and physical, which obviously very important, a little bit of pace here and there. You get an incisive pass. Incisive pass is actually a good place to give your fullbacks as well. And then you could see here, look at the, look at the stuff that they're giving, okay? You can now switch the card to right back. He gets jockey plus, which is a huge play style. They also give you anticipate right and then they give you the five star weak foot so the first card that comes into mind for absolutely everyone is going to be this card right here right if you held on to this kai havertz card you you'll see one video where i go on an old old account guys i was like oh i'll do unleashing potential but i i was telling you i'm like i'm probably not going to do the evil because i don't even play on the account right but you know Sure, you could have done it on this for sure, but here's the thing, man. Old back swap, it actually gives them the proper stuff now. Now it's really worth putting the evolution into it. You know what I'm saying? It'd be kind of cool if you were able to like cancel evolution to get a new one because imagine you did the other one and then you have this one that comes out. It would kind of hurt a little bit, but such is life when you play this game. This card looks unbelievable now, okay? Because here's the thing, man. A really key thing to mention is this. This card... I think still remains a lengthy player while giving him the boost. Because here's the thing, man. Let me, let me just search this card over here. There we go. Here's the thing about Kai Havertz, okay? That's very, very important to mention. This card, without the improvements, was still very, very usable even right now, right? Like, there was cards that I would be trying out and I would be comparing them to Kai Havertz because I'm like, if you guys still have Kai Havertz, like the card is usable. However, for meta, it's just really important to have significantly higher pace now, right? So plus four in acceleration, plus four in sprint speed, defensive stats significantly higher, as well as the physical stats is a really massive deal because it keeps him at a controlled lengthy, right? If you give him a shadow, you can obviously improve the defensive stats in certain areas, blah, blah, blah. But it's not really necessary, right? An anchor will definitely do the job for him to make him that controlled lengthy player. Five-star weak foot, added play styles, right? Anticipate even just the regular one is definitely nice, um, you know, being added to the card. So in my opinion, this is the clear and obvious choice for a lot of people, okay? We have some other options here that do still look pretty cool, to be honest, right? Kamavinga as an option would definitely be uh, a really interesting one too, because giving him the jockey plus working with the aerial plus puts him in a pretty certain, a uh, pretty situation where I think he's similar to Kai Havertz, where you can also provide him with the, the lengthy. And let me see. So evolutions. 
I think you can also provide him with the lengthy on the anchor. Yes, you can, right? So you can give him the controlled lengthy on the anchor. And for the French links and the Real Madrid links, a lot of people will definitely go for this, to be honest, right? Like, it's not just like, if you still have the Kai Havertz SBC, that's probably going to be the main guy that you should be checking out the most. But with this card, he still looks like a very solid option, right? Play styles on the card, he has a lot of stuff. The, I think the cool thing about this card is that you could technically use him as like a CDM if you really wanted to. Like maybe in the center mid position, it's a little bit more chalked because of the finishing being really low. But CDM area, it's definitely possible to use a card like that there if you're playing like a 4-2-3-1 or something because he does have position changes that kind of allow him to be played in the midfield setup depending on how you're setting up your formation, right? So, uh, but it's mostly going to be a card that people use in the left back position. He's a lengthy being pushed with pace. Um, at a 96 acceleration, 97 sprint speed, defensive stats higher, as well as the physical stats being in a good spot. So again, it would be a very good player to get because look at all these play styles that he has too. Bruiser, while working with the fullback, also a big one too because it kind of like pushes more pace out of the card when you're using that advanced defending, right? So definitely, um, definitely a pretty decent option too if you wanted to go down that route for sure. Um, so that's Kai Havertz. We have John Arnorisa. These are these are the cards that start to get a little bit tricky in regards to them being like the the more obvious choices because again they're kind of set up in a certain way where they're good but meta wise some things will be low right so if you were to go to John Honorisa's card which is this one right here and then you gave him a shadow the shadow keeps him at a mostly lengthy which to be fair is still pretty solid right you get that. Defensive boost, you get that pace boost, and then the physical is still in a pretty good spot. The only thing that you probably have to be a little bit concerned about is maybe in the jumping department. So that's where it's like, okay, you know, maybe I want to give him that anchor chemistry style because I need to increase the jumping. But jumping for base card stats is already low. However, he's also kind of being compensated with um, the height being in a pretty good spot, right? Because he's six foot two. But I always feel like players that are tall that also have jumping are always going to be. Um, a more ideal situation, right? But yeah, Anticipate being added, Jockey Plus being added, Relentless. Relentless is a really good play style to work with in the fullback position too. Can't go wrong with this if, you know, someone's building some sort of like past and present Liverpool squad as well, as well, right? So I'm not completely against that one, to be honest with you. Um, we have Bacha. I mean, yeah, let me see something here real quick because we have that card from the beginning of the year, which was this one, I believe. Yes. Okay, so this one still has not received an evolution upgrade. The evolution upgrade for her is going to be in the inform. So with the inform, you can do it. Um, I mean, to be fair, it, it also still puts her in a pretty good spot. The improvements are definitely very nice. Um, you could kind of go get away with giving her an anchor. I just feel like pace, especially for a car like this, is always going to be important because she's very agile, right? Bacha in the beginning of the year from like this car just as an SBC was just great to use because her left stick was good. She actually had some pretty decent defensive animation. So, you know, EA sometimes drops like the special sauce on some cards. Bacha is definitely one of those cards um, that has that special sauce treatment for sure. She doesn't have the strength, but like the other physical stats are still pretty decent to work with. So if you're building some sort of team that has like the league one french players from the female teams then you know obviously it could be pretty solid there too i don't know if the diani card has gotten any like significant improvements no no I'm, I'm trying to see if she has like some uh some evolutions or something like that right but yeah so bacha you know definitely could be an option as well too um let's see what else we got here so we have vardiol's trending too 92 fullback swap unleashing potential into fullback swap you give him anticipate right jockey plus ooh this guy actually looks really solid that's actually a good spot that's this is a good spot actually yeah that's a good spot too you know why? Because I'm not necessarily thinking about him specifically in the center back or the left back position. I'm thinking of him mostly in the center back position. Because if I can give this card a shadow chemistry style, 
99 acceleration, 95 sprint speed, good defensive stats, but then it's the play styles, right? Because now he has jockey plus, but he had block plus. Then he has then he has the passing ones. Like I, I'm always telling people that the passing ones are incredibly helpful to have, right? So he has pinged pass, he has long ball pass, but then he also has jockey and anticipate. Or excuse me, jockey plus with a block plus is amazing. Those two together is incredible. The only thing that he's lacking on this card that I feel like is a a pretty helpful play style to have is 100% having like intercept. Intercept is really, really huge in this game, in my opinion. But yeah, no, you know, if you're building some sort of like Man City team and you don't have this card that could potentially go further in the future, but he doesn't have two play style pluses because the play style plus on this with a jockey plus, it definitely adds to the card a lot, like a whole lot. Right, so if you're building some sort of Man City team, definitely could look into that as well. It's not a bad choice. This guy, I don't know how to say his name. I'm not going to lie to you. Nep's going to be pretty happy about this one, though. This is a very good improvement for this card. Um, unleashing potential first into fullback swap on a shadow chemistry style. 96 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed. Defensive stats massively increased with physical stats also in a very, very solid spot, too. So... He has Jockey Plus, Long Ball Pass, really good stuff. Jockey Plus to work with regular block, which is helpful, as well as the Anticipate. No Intercept, but he does have Slide Tackle and Incisive Pass while working with that Long Ball Pass. So the usability of this card is definitely there. Like, he could definitely perform well enough, I would say. I think the added play styles definitely adds to it. Like, this, this evolution in general, guys, 100% is actually, like, worth spending the money on, right? For for specific cards, especially Kai Havertz, in my opinion, right? Um, roll full from the rare gold. No. At this point, if you have roll full, well, you could go this direction, but if you were going to do roll full, then it made sense to kind of do this one more than anything else, right? This card still does really well in game. Uh, so that's kind of like chalked at that point. Petit gets the fullback swap to. Yeah, so we start to move into an area where, in my opinion, it's not as relevant to improve, right? Like this is where it's like, you know, if, you, if you're a fan of Petit, then sure, right? But you're, you're like, listen, you're never going to get an upgrade like this again. You know what I'm saying? Like th this is the clear and obvious choice. It just is. Like this Kai Havertz looks absolutely ridiculous. From the comparison of some of the other cards right kai havertz like i may review that card like that's how popular i feel like that choice is going to be amongst people like maybe camavinga too i mean we'll see you know because it is a fullback review i don't know how well fullbacks gonna, a review is going to do after a card that you know hasn't been around for a while you know what i mean but we could see we could definitely see zambrata gets one too Oh, wow. He gets another one, too. This card's going to be extinct. 60k upwards. So what's this? Unleashing potential fullback swap. I mean, technically speaking, you could go down this route, too. This card currently exists as an SPC, though. Right? And Zambrota is actually, like, pretty decent. He's pretty decent. Anchor chemistry style. Higher pace, higher defense, higher physical capabilities. The card still looks pretty decent, 100% still looks decent. But those are, like I said, these are more selections if you don't have... This card's going to be extinct, like without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, he's extinct. Not crazy how if you hold on to some of these cards, like they just turn into monsters, bro. Like, like this is a good card. If you went down this route too, like you're getting a solid player. But the most popular Kai Havertz, it, it makes the most sense. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but it's true. Ona Batel, um extinct yeah but she's extinct because she's an inform right guys i think that's how it works because of the fodder being harder to collect 98 95 improvements would make her significantly better and for the barcelona players sure sure bomba store oh bro i was about to say no chance from that one what about this one maybe this one okay so you can do it on bomba store too I definitely wouldn't waste it on her. Like, she's she's really good, but I would not waste it on this card. For sure, no chance. For sure, no chance. All right, let me see what else we have here. Some some popular options. Kamavinga, yes, rightfully so. 
Good SPC, by the way. Splendid is really nice. Um, Palmer, left back, Moki LA. You can't do... Bro, not you could do Moki LA. By the way, is this card... Um, if he's still... Oh, it's expired. This card has a lot of potential. I, I think for the evolutions from the showdowns, it's him and Sergi Roberto that have a, a lot of potential. They get... If you get if you get them to win, and then the evil plus on top of it, like a lot of potential. This card could turn out to be a very very good player, right? Because he's lengthy on that anchor. So the, like imagine the small improvements on him; it'd be crazy. But that's if you did that card, which honestly it's kind of worth the risk on that one. Fifty something k, like that's not bad, right? Like the content that we've received this this last week for showdowns, it's actually like good content if you choose to improve some of these cards right but they're not, not like really like popular ones but they're gonna be meta if they get the the right improvements 100 percent merlin 92 fullback swap yeah but the thing is man is that if you go down well actually <laughs> i'm not against this one honestly i'm not against it because he gets whipped pass plus and jockey plus he has passing play styles, block plus with anticipate. Like, you can't go wrong with that. That's not bad either. You can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> what else we got? Um, okay. Left back, center forward, right back, center back. Yeah. I think we got most of the popular choices down. What is this for? Oh, formidable inform. That's what to say. Um... Merlin too, yeah. Well, yeah, listen guys, long story short, man. Uh, Kai Havertz is 100%. Like, uh, the, the way that you see the order here for the first two, yes. The third one is a little bit more, like, controversial in regards to, like, who the top choice is. Because Vardiola actually looks pretty good. I actually like the way that he looks. Bacha as, like, a cheaper alternative for that French left back is not bad either. But these two, for the links that they offer and the type of quality that they might offer in game two, Kai Havertz, I can almost guarantee, is going to be a beast. I, like, I can, I'm can, i not going to even say almost. I can guarantee he's going to be a beast, 100%. Uh, Kamavinga, I never tried out that left-back card. I don't know what his base mechanics are, to be honest. like I feel like he'd be a beast because, remember, last year... Well, you guys remember which card it was, man. There was a left-back specifically that when I got him, I was like, this guy rep replaced my Captavia. No problem. And then Captavia got that card in the future. Then that made him the best one. But Kamavinga got a left-back card that was amazing. So these two are definitely going to be like the most obvious choices. If you're going to use this evolution, it has to be on those two cards if you really care about the meta of this game, which, to be fair, guys, it's pretty meta nowadays, so it makes a lot of sense. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.